Okay. Ooh, it's a lot heavier than I thought. All right, ready? Heavy. And I'm going in. Gotta let everything shift. All right. We just made this wooden Christmas tree advent calendar with a bunch of tiny presents inside it using only two boards. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, it's getting really close to Thanksgiving, so that means it's time for the advent calendars. Or it's getting really close to December 1st, and it's time for the advent calendars. You can't start the month without an advent calendar. At least that's what my kids think. Now, I think the advent calendar should come out at Thanksgiving when we pick Secret Santa. What so you... what? So they could just look at it for a week and wish they could open something? You don't think they should start like the day after Thanksgiving? No. Opening I... something? No. How many like boxes a, would I need? It's like, like a prequel. No, you only get 25 boxes. That's the whole thing. Oh. Countdown to Christmas with some treats. What do you think? Do you think it should start Thanksgiving or December 1st? I mean, it's really only a week away. It's just a week of little trinkets. Yeah, he just made that up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're short on time this week. We are still getting everything up and running. We had a little hiccup with some of our setup here in our uh, new warehouse. So we've got to get this project knocked out. And so we borrowed some plans from Horizon Design Studio, and we're gonna use these to make this advent calendar. I think we can do this in yeah. less than two hours. Well, they so. already figured out all the angles. So yeah, just following plans, not making up anything myself. <laughs> Feel well, a little bit better about it. We're gonna that. test them out and see how it goes. Yeah. Horizon, you're getting the test. <laughs> Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We needed two one by fours, but we got three just in case. There's a lot of angles. <laughs> we needed some hooks to hang things on, like a stocking or something. We needed some inch and a half brad nails. Are they still Brad now, an inch and a half? <laughs> We're calling them. And then we needed something to put our little gifts in. So for this calendar, it's going to be basically a shelf. So we're gonna use these little boxes. We're gonna put 25, at least that was my original plan, or 30 boxes on the shelves. And I hope I can fit all of them. If not, I might have to just keep adding them throughout the month and, and just keep putting them on the shelves. Now these are jewelry boxes. Will we be putting jewelry in these boxes? That's not my plan. Okay, good. Mine, mine either. <laughs> I was thinking candy. <laughs> yes, little trinkets like that. And I'll tell you, I got these at the Dollar Tree and they really came through because I said to Gary, I was like, well, I've got to go see if I can find some decorative boxes so I don't have to wrap 25 little boxes. And I'll tell you, there were so many. Like, here's a little set of three boxes that came together. And then these this are little- a box in a box. Nested boxes. They just, there are so many. I was able to get 25 different, yes, 25 different boxes already wrapped. I didn't have to wrap anything. I'll just slap some trinkets in here and put them on the shelf. Oh, that is the best part. We don't have to wrap anything. Nope, nope. Look at them. Aren't they great? Oh. And of these little three gift ones, I there's like wrapping. three different designs. See I that? I know. I checked. That's good. Yeah. Nothing repeats. That's well, no. I did oh. get a couple of these. Some of them do oh. repeat, but that's because they didn't have 25 different designs. It'll be like a, it'll be like a big game of what's that that, that price game? Prices, right? No. What's the one before that in the morning or after? Um. Uh, you mean? Uh, oh, hold on. I love that one. Hold on. Give me a second. Give me a second. What is that? What is that game show that comes on in the morning before prices? Let's is make right? a deal. Let's make a deal. It's let's make a deal. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a big game of let's make a deal, right? Kinda. Yeah. yeah. Do you want what's in box number one or box Do you number want this two? Big box or this little tiny box? You could have something. You never know what's in these little boxes. Never know. Step two, we're gonna make all of our cuts. It's like death by 18 cuts. It's only 18 cuts, but it just feels like a lot of cuts. We're gonna cut this one by four down into a bunch of different sizes. Like, how many different sizes? Like 12 different sizes. Something like that, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the tricky part is this is a Christmas tree and it will have angles to make this thing come together. So 
we're nervous about those. <laughs> Let's just see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. And we're gonna make all of these cuts with my pocket saw. I keep them around, keep them back there in my pocket just in case I need to cut anything in a jiff. He's here. All right, these cuts are A through K, so we're gonna start with board A. I'm gonna give you all the directions you need here. All right. Board A is a simple 16 and a half inches. Just a simple 16, huh? Yes, there's no angles on this board, so. It's like the only one. This is how you get started. This we're gonna- This is a warm up Warm cut. up, yeah, it's a warm up cut. What's the next cut? All right, cut A complete. Cut B is three and a half inches. You need two of them. Okay. Okay, great. B is how much? Three and a half inches. Three and a half. All right, C, C, seven and three quarters. Seven and three quarters. You're gonna make your cut and then add your angles. Well, then I'll give myself a little bit. I'll give myself eight inches. And then I'll sneak up on the angle. All right, there's a little left over in this board, but not a lot, so don't give yourself too much. Let's see, six. Six of this one, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, I'll do one, and then I'll make a stop block. Okay. All right, so what's the angle? The angle is 20 degrees on one side and 20 degrees on the other. So 20 degrees, all right. Uh-huh. Some of them are different. This one is the same. So to get these angles, I'm gonna loosen this hand screw back here and then I can tilt the head. So I'll tilt it to 20. Oh, well, that's hard to, to tell. 15, 20, 25, all right, so 20. All right, what's the next cut? All right, D, we're getting the hard ones out of the way first. So this one is gonna be seven and an eight, and then it's gonna narrow to four inches. It's gonna be behind the tree as a bracer piece. Okay, all right, all right. Let's set this back to zero. Seven and an eighth, I mean, that's... Precise. Yeah, that's pretty precise. <laughs> you better come in at seven and an eighth. Seven and a quarter, gone too far. All right, so... So you're gonna have to go diagonal from this corner to the top and measure four inches, like, well, straight in the middle. let me find center. Oh, okay, yep. Yep, not bad. That's what's center of seven and a quarter? Seven and an eighth would seven be and eight. three and a half and a sixteenth. Three and a half and a sixteenth. All right. Three and... Three and a half. Nine sixteenths. Then a sixteenth. Two inches this way. Mm-hmm. Two. Two inches this way. Two. That should be four. I want to double check that that's four. Four inchos. Inchos. <laughs> Looks good. Now, where's your little... I use this board. All right. That All seems right super there. precise. It is. It is amazingly precise. And... All right. You want to show them? This is, what I, this is what I have drawn. Now I'm going to try to line this saw up to make this cut. <laughs> Give it a twist. Great job. All right. All right. There you go. It turned out to be like 26, 26 degrees, <laughs> about 20, 26 degrees. Now it's smooth sailing from here. Do you, do you wish I wouldn't say that, right? Yeah, don't, don't jinx me. Don't jinx me. All right, cut E, nine and three eighths long, and then you're gonna have a 42 degree and a 24 degree. Let's just get one step at a time. All right, so we'll start with the- Nine and three eighths. Nine and three eighths. These are gonna both come in 
right. One is at 42 degrees and one is at 24. All right, we'll start with the 42 degrees. It's 45. I'm guessing that's 42. It's 42 now. Great job. And the other side is 24 degrees. 24. <laughs> These lines are so tiny. You're like a pro. First tee. Ooh, still nine and threes. All right. All right, look at you. That was pretty easy. All right, it's pretty easy. Don't get cocky. Don't get cocky. <laughs> okay. Next one. Uh, eight and three eighths. Oh, I'm out of board. Let's see what you can get out of this. All right, may I see the eight and three eighths? Mm -hmm. All right. Give me the angle. <laughs> Give it to me. 24 <sighs> and 42. What? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll start with the 42 again. Now, 24. Uh, yes. Eight and three eighths. Nice. Great job. Ask and you shall receive. Ish. All right. That was F. We're just rolling right through these things. We are. We're powering right through all of all these things. All right, cuts. next board. Board number two. Coming at me. Oh, what we got going on here? Let's go back to zero. Board number two is at 18 inches. Ooh, Ooh this is a off. long one. Mm -hmm. Bringing it in at a, at a flat 18. There's um, no 1 16th. Flat 18. There's no 32nd. Nope. There's no like 1 64th. <laughs> nope. Oh, don't put it away yet. Oh, there's angles that go into this thing? Yes. Oh no. 24 and 24, both inside like this. So. 24, 24. Oh yes, yeah, so that makes it easy for you. Mm hmm Really just about seeing the line of 24, like that's half the battle. <laughs> it's so tiny. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? Yeah, I'll check it. Yeah. Give it the old checker. Ooh, wow, great job. You're doing a great job. Thanks, babe. Thanks. All right. G is done. H, 14 inches. Start at zero. Yep. Zero, 14 inches. And these are going to be 24s too. Maybe we should have. Oh. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. The next one is going to be 10 if you want to go ahead and get that one. Does it also have 24s? Yes. And so is six. 10 and six. 10 and 6, do those two. Is that it? Yes, for now. And those are going to have 24 inch cuts just oh, like 24 you do degrees. Mm -hmm. I mean, 24 degrees, 24 inches. Yeah, it seems to be easier to start at the corner and come in than try to guess and shave off the other way. <laughs> H, I, J, great. All right, K, seven and three quarters. Oh, what are the angles? They are 20 and 20. Two 20s? Mm-hmm, opposites. Oh. Seven and three quarters. What are you doing? Like you said. Uh, you only need, oh, now you need two of them. But that's right, right? This yes. Angle. Yeah, see? Okay. Uh huh. QA. Yes. Check. And that's it, look at there. You made all 18 cuts. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't death by 18 cuts like I thought it would be. Yeah. They're pretty, they're pretty easy. Good job, Horizon, so far. <laughs> all of our cuts are made. Next step, we're gonna do a little sanding. They have some rough edges here, so we're just gonna hit them with the 
sander, and mostly I'm focusing on the edges because the, we used some top choice boards, so they're pretty smooth. I'll hit the outsides a little bit, but mostly I'm focusing on these edges to make sure they're nice and just where the, sharp. Just where the cut was. Some of the cuts might've been a little sloppy, a little splintery. <laughs> <laughs> For our last cut, we're gonna try to cut this into like like a tiny corbel type thing. Yeah, it's shown on the plans to cut this at a nice little like swivel. S. S. And uh, this one's tricky, I don't tricky. know. I've never done one of these. I'm gonna use the jigsaw to cut it, but we're gonna use the top of this little wax can to make the S. All right, and it shows that it's one inch in and one inch from the bottom, and it just swoops down. Great. All right, now we'll see if I can cut that out. This is the back part, right? That's right. All right. All right, so I don't know if you guys could see that, but I used a can to cut. Well, to make the drawing of what I'm about to cut, attempt to cut. Yeah, to make. Let's, let's clamp this down. All right. Not too bad. Yeah. All right, number one. Now I'm going to use number one to draw number two. You did a great job. Oh, thanks, babe. <laughs> All right, let's see how close they are. Not too bad. All right, so. It won't. You won't be able to tell from end to end. Well, we'll just clamp them together and hit them on the sander real quick. Can you hold the sander? <laughs> you hold the sander and I'll just rub it on here. All right. All right. Is my oh my gosh, there. please don't do it like we're doing it. Perfect. Look at that. All right, not perfect, but close. Nobody will notice. Nobody will notice. No. <laughs> Step three. Ooh, now we're gonna stain. We're gonna use this espresso. Ooh, that's dark. We're going that dark? Well, uh, it matches the oh. Christmas tree skirt that we did last week. Where we started from the bottom. Now we're here. Now, now we're here. <laughs> did a little dry fitting. Oh, we learned a little something. It says to cut six C's. We only need four C's. And then the diagram, when you assemble it, it shows four. Hey, whatever happened to C size batteries or D? Do we even use C or D batteries anymore? Yes, we do. Mm. We don't at home very often. Everything's like double A. Double A, double A. Yeah. Triple doubles. Triple <laughs> double. Let me give this thing a quick stain. Won't take any time. Step four. Now we're gonna bring it all together with a little bit of glue and a one and a half inch nail. Finishing nail. Brad. <laughs> the say. nail, not the guy. I was like, come on, you're not gonna leave it hanging this Good. time, are you? Are we starting from the bottom and working our way up or starting from the top and working our way down? Uh, you have to start from the bottom to the top. Oh, okay. We're gonna start at the bottom. Work our way up, gluing and tacking with the nails. We're gonna recut the brace here in a second. 
brace doesn't really fit. Hmm. All right, now for the brace. We're just gonna do a trace. A trace for the brace? A trace for the brace. There you go, looks All good. All right, look at that. Looking pretty good, looking pretty tall. Yeah. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, just squeeze that together. It's a little dry. All right, next step. I'm impressed with all of the angles. Just saying. Yes, yes. Great job Came with the plans. Out. Yes. Horizon Designs, great job with the plans. We had two extra C's, but otherwise, <laughs> spot on. Step five. <laughs> now we're gonna add the hardware. We have these little hooks. We have these three little hooks. We're just gonna use the hardware and the screws that came with the hooks to attach it. And this is where I'm gonna hang my stocking. This is where Santa's gonna deliver all of my special goodies. <laughs> okay. Let's go one finger, going one finger high. My finger, Kim, not your finger. <laughs> <laughs> Just one finger high. Step six, and now we fill the accents, and then we add the accents. That last accents was horrible. That was horrible. The first one was horrible, but the second one might have been worse. <laughs> <laughs> so all those little boxes we had, we're gonna put some candy in them, some makeup in them. Ooh, I hope I get this box. Some <laughs> pops, these are, these are cute. Some socks, I told you, it's about the socks. And some more candy. Ooh, that's bubble gum. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. I still think you should have gotten first. Now, a couple of these are gonna have some gift cards in them. All right, that's a good gift card. To one. like, uh, you know, McDonald's or Taco Bell or Wawa or something. You're gonna be disappointed on this day. <laughs> Give them more than just one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what do you guys think? Do you think the countdown should start on Thanksgiving? Yes. You, you can put one more week. You can put seven bags yeah. hanging from these hooks. We could put like tiny turkeys hanging from the hooks. <laughs> just to kind of kick it all off. <laughs> the angles weren't bad at all. Thank you, Horizon Designs, for putting all the angles on there. That was great. I hate trying to figure out angles. I am the worst at it. Well, it isn't your traditional advent calendar but i'll tell you what i'm certain the girls are gonna love it and well they may not love some of the things that we put in it but, <laughs> but they'll love picking one each day yeah they'll and love just, just like grabbing a, a box each tiny day. little present instead of just opening a door for a piece of candy yeah it's like a tiny little present they get to start their day with all right we're about out of time so if you're not going to join us for the patron after show we will see you next week where we'll do it build it and make it again and you know what's coming no you no, not with all these boxes you don't think That's so? great. no i think no. that makes it more challenging if you drop them if he drops them he's picking them all up and all the gumballs and all the candy challenge accepted <laughs> okay okay Okay. Ooh, it's a lot heavier than I thought. All right, ready? Ready. And I'm going in. Gotta let everything shift. All right, moment of truth. I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm out. Okay, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Okay, hold it. Okay. I'm out of here. That's it. Going out on a high note. <laughs>